A rally was held in Atlantic City outside of City Hall today to bring awareness to police brutality. The gathering was held as a response to the alleged beating of a 15 year old boy by undercover Atlantic City police officers in January. Sam Sweeney spoke with family members today who say they are disappointed with the department's response. I want justice. I want those officers arrested for what they did to my son because they brutally attacked my son. Andrea Gray is the mother of the 15 year old boy who was allegedly beaten by the Atlantic City police officers back on January 27th. Trent Brewer was walking down the street with his stepfather and two friends around 8 o'clock that night when, according to family members, four undercover police officers exited their vehicles and began to attack the boy. This young juvenile uh, is a human being and, and he, he got treated worse than an animal. Terrence Jones is a civil rights activist and organized today's event. He says enough is enough. We're fed up. We're fed up with police brutality. It's been about a month since the alleged incident and Brewer is still undergoing multiple surgeries. Family members say he will never make a full recovery. He's not himself. My home is not my home no more because they destroyed my family. What they did to my son destroyed all of us. Brewer's lawyer says the high school freshman had no criminal record prior to that night, but is now being charged in connection with the alleged attack, which he says was unprovoked. And now family members are demanding to know why. He had internal bleeding, which he was hospitalized for three days, and he had the inner orbit fracture, which he may have to get a second surgery. Trent Brewer's mother says she has reached out to police and city officials, but feels that she is not being taken seriously and will now file a civil suit against the police department. I mean, it's just a runaround. We're not getting no justice from the city, from City Hall, the council. We're not getting no justice from the police department. NBC 40 contacted the Atlantic City Police, but at this time they are unable to provide comment as the case is still under investigation. In Atlantic City, Sam Sweeney, News Channel 40, NBC.